Start by laying out the frame parts according to their approximate location, represented by the provided diagram. The layout of the tent frame will consist of four corner fittings, eight side T fittings, two six-way crowns, 14 perimeter ridge poles, which are the nine foot four inch poles, eight rafter poles, which are the 10 foot six inch poles, four hip poles, which are the 14 foot four inch poles, 76 frame pins. The ridge T is the fitting with the holes that are pointing straight up. The side T is the fitting with the holes that are pointing at an angle. The six-way crown has six connecting points. When laid on a flat hard surface, the two protrusions that do not touch the ground will correspond with the 14 foot four inch hip poles. The angles that do touch the ground will correspond with the side tees. The last protrusion will eventually connect with the ridge crown located at the center of the tent. Base plates get connected to the bottom of leg poles and help distribute weight over a larger surface area. The large hole on the base plate needs to face outward away from the tent. It's helpful to attach these to each leg prior to lifting the frame and installing the legs. Part of the pole that has the four openings is on the, ground, is on the base plate. On the fittings, you will see two holes in which to insert pins. The hole closest to the top of the fitting is the alignment hole. The hole furthest from the top of the fitting is for the pin that holds the pole in place. Start by having someone hold one of the six-way crowns in its projected location. Attach the two 14-foot, 4-inch poles to the offset angled protrusions. As mentioned earlier, these will be for the corners or hips of the tent. Attach the three 10 and 1 half foot poles to the six-way crown. Attach the corner fitting to the hip rafters by sliding the pole over the fitting. Line up the hole of the pole with the fitting and attach the pin. Attach the side T fitting to the rafters by sliding the pole over the fitting. Line up the hole of the pole with the fitting and attach the pin. Attach a 9 foot 4 inch spreader pole to the 6 way crown. Once the spreader pole is connected, you can now connect the opposite end of the spreader pole to the ridge tee. Once completed, then connect the 10 foot 6 inch rafter pole to the side tee fitting on the ground. Repeat the previous step moving toward the other side of the tent. The ridge tee now connects to the other six-way crown. Repeat the steps that complete the construction of the second six-way crown and ultimately complete the construction of the structure. Using a drop cloth to protect the tent, unfold and drag the tent over the top of the frame. Secure the tent top to the frame by loosely fastening the straps that are located on the inside of the tent around each of the four corners. The tent is ready to have the legs installed. Before lifting the tent, T 
take note of the wind direction. So, so when you're actually putting the tent up, you want to put the side opposite of the wind direction up first. So the wind today is coming from this direction. So we're going to start on this end when we put the poles up. Starting at the side opposite of the wind direction, lift the structure up and connect the legs, preferably starting with the corners. Pin the legs to the fitting. Next, lift the opposite end of the tent, connecting the legs to the corner and side T fittings. With the tent frame now standing, be sure that the tent top is sitting evenly over the frame and begin tightening the straps taking several trips around the perimeter of the tent ensuring a secure connection between the tent top and frame structure. Pull down on the valance while tightening so as not to put undue pressure on the straps. Place a giphy ballast next to each leg pole. Attach the 12-foot webbing strap to the eye bolt on the inside bottom of the giphy ballast at each leg location. Attach the ratchet head around the fitting. When attaching the anchoring device, ensure that it is placed around the fitting and not the pole, as the aluminum poles could bend or break. Fill Giphy barrels with water to the top and tighten the ratchet strap. If connecting sidewall to your tent, connect the sidewall rope through the cloth tabs around the perimeter of the tent. Your sidewall will then hang from the rope by the sidewall's top clips. Teardown involves the same steps as setup, except in the reverse order. Be sure to avoid walking on any vinyl tent surfaces and be sure to allow the tent top to dry before rolling and storing. 